Okay, uh, today I think I'm going to talk about um, the dentist and going to the dentist um, and why it's good or why it sucks or whatever. And I'm actually like pro going to the dentist, even though like today my fucking, the inside of my mouth is all sore and my teeth are sore. And basically the inside of my mouth feels like it, it was fisted, you know what I mean? Like uh, with like some kind of anal sex thing, just the fist rammed in, the hands all probing, and started with the fingers and stuff, you know, and and now it's all stretched out like a fisted asshole. But I, I still, I still gotta go because it's like if you don't go, you get cavities. And I just went, and I got like four cavities, and one of them is deep, right? I may have to get like a, a root canal. And this is this is why like a lot of people don't want to go to the dentist. They're like just they're afraid. They're afraid because going to the dentist is probably like the most invasive thing um, that you do in terms of people infringing on your uh, your aura and your personal space. Because I mean, where else in the world does anyone stick shit and and hold and press and touch like the inside of your mouth and your face and 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 I mean, it's probably literally worse than being in a porn movie. It's just, it's invasive. It's invasive. It's like, uh, you have other people's hands, albeit with plastic gloves on, like, uh, just inside your mouth. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. And even, you, you know, if anybody you knew did that, they just started even touching your face or, or whatever, and just, you'd punch them. You'd, like, throw them out. Say, get out of here, you sicko. Sticking their hand in your mouth now it that's that's one of the reasons i mean let alone just being there and the fear like and it hurts too you know it's like that's why nobody wants to go to the dentist because it, it's expensive and it hurts um you know they have to give you they have to give you uh medication like uh pain relievers and stuff like that they have to like and first of all that's not even like a great thing that they do anyway right you know they they take the uh the cotton wad with the, they used to give you gas and which would knock yourself knock yourself out and shit like that but and most people I, I guess they they stopped doing gas because it's probably like not safe you know i think people could just like die from it and then there were all like the molestation jokes you know like uh yeah i woke up and my pants were down uh and my tooth still hurt but also my butt hurt you know um but, you know, now what they do is they, they give you, like, this uh, cotton, um, a Q-tip kind of thing. It's got, like, a uh, pain reliever on. I don't know what it is. And then they go, oh, are you numb? And you go, yeah, okay, I'm pretty numb, right? And then what they do is they take the needle and they just kind of stick it in your jaw around the where the tooth is. And they, like, wiggle it around, make sure all that stuff goes in there. And, uh, you know, it, you get numb. And it, even being numb is weird because, I like, I've bitten the inside of my mouth. I'm like... Uh, like, you go like, eh, it's okay to eat, I just eat some, and you don't even feel it, you know, you're like, why is my mouth bleeding, you know, because you just, like, took a big chunk out of the inside of your mouth, that's why it's like, if you go to the dentist, eat before, because, uh, for, like, for me, yesterday, yesterday was a surprise, I'm at the dentist, and uh, I had gone, I go, like, twice a year, and even though it's, like, expensive, you know, uh, because, I don't know if you've ever had, like, cavities, or, 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 uh, a, crowns or root canals or bridges or uh dental implants that shit is insanely expensive that's why you should just like go to the dentist and let them take care of shit before you know everybody goes oh a cavity man it costs 125 200 bucks yeah but you know what a, a root canal costs is like a thousand you know what a, a crown costs it's another thousand so even if you're lucky enough to get the root canal without the crown you're in a thousand, you know, and even if you got insurance, your insurance only covers up a, cer a certain amount. So like a thousand there, a thousand there. If you got to get a bridge, oh my God, now you're talking like three thousand, uh, four thousand dollars. And uh, I, I actually, I had like one tooth in my mouth, and I swear to God, this one tooth um, over its lifetime of just being uh, cavity to uh, to uh, it went from cavity to root canal to. Uh, a crown, and then finally to a dental implant. I swear to God, I got a ten thousand dollar tooth in my mouth, 
And who wants to spend $10,000 on a tooth? I mean, come on. That's a lot of money. You could do anything like with $10,000. You could like put a down deposit on the house. Uh, personally, maybe I'd pay off a credit card. But if you, you could go, you could get like girls. You could get like recreational drugs. You could, add, you could buy a car. You could just, there's so much stuff you can do with $10,000 rather and fun stuff. Go to Atlantic City, blow it. You know what I mean? Maybe buy $10,000 worth of lotto tickets because that's what you did. You blew it. So just go to dentist. But that's what it's cost me over the lifetime of this tooth to have it repaired. And I was offered, I you know, I was offered a bridge on it. But a bridge, man, you don't know this stuff. It's almost as much as a tooth implant, which that op, that procedure cost me like almost five grand, right? Um, a, a bridge is like almost as much. It's like almost 3500 maybe 4000 Maybe you can find it cheaper if you shop around, but I don't know, right? Um, so it's almost as much, right? But what they do is they shave your other teeth around it and then they like put it on top and they clamp it and it's like, oh no, no, just a tooth implant. It's like they just drill a hole, stick in a socket. And then for like, um, for like, geez, months, maybe two months, I had to walk around toothless because they put in like fake bone. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's basically, it's, it's like a bone. It's a bone implant uh, and it's fake bone, prosthetic bone. And they put that in and then has to set and heal and grow into the other bone. And then they can drill into that, right? And uh, and then they set a post, right? And then that has to set for a while. And then eventually you get the tooth. So I was walking around like toothless. My my kid was calling me Bubba. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that that's it. You know, go to the dentist. It makes sense. Because, like, even though it's invasive and probably the only more invasive thing than going to a dentist is going to, like, a proctologist or uh, and getting someone sticking their fingers up your ass or whatever, right? Uh, which I would liken it to sometimes because uh, I, I think probably uh, the dentist could take, like, an hour or two. Proctologist, I don't imagine it's going to take that long, you know. Um, and it's certainly as uncomfortable. Um, and then probably the, probably the worst uh, would be a, again maybe a urologist sticking some rod up your catheter or something up up your uh, uh, penis, but anyway, go to the dentist, pay the money because if you don't pay uh, to just get it checked and have the X-rays and make sure nothing's going on, in the long run it'll be worse, and you don't want to be a toothless bubba, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't hear stories uh, about how many chick. Chicks Bubba's banging and getting laid all the time with this big toothless smile. Yeah, women love a guy with no teeth because they're better at uh, oral sex or something. I don't think so. And you don't want to be a guy walking around like that you can barely talk. Nobody understands what you say like you got a speech impediment. And you can't eat. You can't eat. You look like a mess. And you know, it, it, it just like, okay. You go into a job interview, right? And you give them that big smile and you're missing teeth. It's like, no, you're not going to get the great job. They're going to give you the application to be the janitor. People are going to think you're like some kind of, tooth, like I said, a toothless bubba. Uh, a hick, a hillbilly that doesn't can't afford to go to the dentist, take care of his teeth. And uh, probably the final thing is like uh, uh, try dating with no teeth, right? Try trying to be out there like trying to pick up hot girls or whatever new. No. Would you ever pick the, the, the online profile guy with the, a no-tooth smile? You know, I'm, you could be handsome without, without teeth, but, you know, like that smile, this guy don't have teeth. Bubba. No teeth, and, and you're like, the no-teeth guy is a guy who's either going, going home with, like, uh, the no-teeth girl or, or the really old fat chick or uh, going home by himself to masturbate, you know, so, so do it for that. Do it. For, go to the dentist so you can get so you can get laid.